Hello guys, my name is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just going to solve some few questions on sets of numbers. So basically, we are going to look at questions that requires um, the need of the use of the number line and also the interval notation. Let's quickly get started. So I have a few exam questions with me here. The first question is, let u be equal to that, and um, this u is our universal set. So please make sure that you screenshot or you pause the video so that you write down these questions as I solve. So let me quickly go down and solve question one. So all right, my solution. Sorry for that. So I'll write my solution. Okay. So question one, we have been given that u is equal to a uh, block brackets seven comma ten, and then we have broke brackets, and then we have set a, which is simply equal to open bracket negative two comma eight, and then open bracket, and then we have. Uh, B, which is simply equal to block bracket 1, 8 block bracket. And then we have C, which is simply equal to open bracket 7, negative 7, 6 open bracket. So the first part, we have been asked to find A intersection open bracket B minus C. Ladies and gentlemen. To solve this question, we first need to solve B minus C. We cannot just go direct and solve A, the whole expression without solving B minus C. So let's quickly find B minus C. So the first step, you are going to find B minus C. Now, since we have been given our sets in interval notation, for us to work out, we are simply going to use the number line. So you are going to draw a number line like that. So this is our number line. And this number line, we can put a zero there to demarcate negatives from positives. So after doing that, we are now going to indicate set B using this same number line. So we have been given that set B is 1, 8. Broke bracket. So we can represent this set on a number line by putting one there and also eight there but before we do anything we need to look at this bracket so this bracket is known as a block bracket so this type of bracket it goes with a shaded circle and when you use a shaded circle or this type of bracket it just simply means that a given element is part of the set so with that being said we can simply shade a one there that means that one is part of the set of the answer or set and also we can shade on negative eight because negative eight is also having a block bracket and this block bracket it goes with a shaded circle like i said so from there we can just connect these two lines and like that then the next thing we are going to draw on this same number line, we are going to show set C. So we have set C. What is set C? Set C we have been given to be open negative 7, 6. Open. So we are going to put negative 7 there and 6 there. Then we put open. Since it is open, it means that 7 is not part of the answer. And we normally use an unshaded circle. So from there, ladies and gentlemen, this same bracket is the one which is on 6. So even this one is going to have unshaded circle. So from here, we can connect these two lines and make set C. So this is our set C and this is our set B. But the question is, find B minus C. So since we are looking for B minus C, we need to go at the part where B where C is not there. 
So this part is simply this part here. But before we come up with the right solution, we need to analyze C. So we need to ask ourselves, is, is 6 in B? Of course it is. But is 6 in C? The answer is no. Since when we are removing set C from B, we are not removing C. That means that our answer has 6 in it. That means that 6 is part of the solution. As a result, our expression will be written as block bracket 6, 8 block bracket. Why is 8 having a block bracket? The reason is that 8 is not affected with set C. As a result, it will maintain the way it is. So ladies and gentlemen, we have found set B minus C. Can we now look at or can we now quickly look for the uh, the question we have been given? We have been given the question which is A intersection B minus C, like that. So since we have looked for B minus C, we can easily use again the number line to look for the other components. So that's our number line there. So from here you can put a zero there. Then you draw set what? Set B minus C. So what is set B minus C? Set B minus C is starting from 6 to what? To 8. So from there, since both have a close bracket, which means included, so we are going to use a shaded circle. And there we are also going to use a shaded circle. Then from here, we can just uh, connect these two dots. So this is set B minus C. Now let's look at set A. Set A, we have been given that it is open negative 2 to 8 and then open. So in this case, we are now going to draw set A on this same number line. So let's quickly draw set A on this same number line. It's starting from negative 2 to what? To 8. Of which this, um, this, 8 is not part of the answer. So it's going to be what? Unshaded. What about 2? 2 has the same condition. It is also going to be unshaded. Then from there, we can easily join these two lines. So this is set A. This is set B minus C. From there, we can simply look for a region where these two sets are meeting. Let's look for the region where these two sets are meeting. So if we quickly look at our diagram, you're going to find that these two sets are intersecting at this portion. So this is a portion where these two sets are intersecting. Therefore, we can easily write A intersection B minus C bracket is equal to 6 comma 8. Then we can analyze. So we can say, is set A in is six in set A? Yes, it is. Is six in set B minus C? Yes, it is. Since it is in both sets, we can use the block bracket. Let's look at eight. Is eight in set A? No, it is not. Is eight in set B minus C? Yes, it is. Since 8 is only in B minus C and not in A, it means that 8 is not part of the intersection set. As a result, we just simply use an open bracket. How can we represent this work or this solution using a number line? So we can easily show this work using a number line by quickly writing our number line like that. And then we put a demarcation zero there. Then we have six and then we have eight. Remember, we were given the universal set, which is negative seven to 10. Then from there, we can easily put a shaded circle on six because six is having a block bracket and the unshaded circle on eight because eight is having an open bracket. As a result, we just connect those two sets. 
With that being said, we need to name this set to be A intersection B minus C bracket. Is this hard doing? Of course not. It is not hard. That means that you can easily work out these questions without any difficulties just by following the steps and also by subscribing to our YouTube channel. The next part is number two. Number two we have been given find set C complement. What does this mean? This means that we have been asked to look for sets. Okay, look for members, members that are nodes in set C. Members that are not in set C. So what does this mean? We, that, we are now comparing, comparing set C with the universal with the universal sets okay all right so even that even in this situation we still need to use a number line so we are going to draw a number line like that so this is our number line as simple as it is then this number line we put a demarcation zero there then we have negative seven we have ten as part of our universal set. Then after doing that, we can easily do this. What we are going to do, we are going to indicate set C. So we have been told that set C is equal to open bracket negative 7, 6. Open. So we are starting from negative 7 here, this point, up to what? Up to 6, which is there. So this means that 6 is not part of the answer. And then we are going to use unshaded. So this means that we are going this way. Why have we gone like that? Because negative 7 is part of the what? Of the universal set. So we are ending on this region of our number line, which is the universal. So from there, this is set C. Now the question is, find C complement. So to find C complement, we are going to look for a region which doesn't have set, um, set C. So this region, it is this region. And this region, it is a region which is starting from C, uh, 6 to what? To 10. And then we are going to analyze, is 6 in set C? No, it is not. So since it is not, that means that we are going to use a shaded circle in the complement sets and we are going to go this side so what does this mean let's quickly show this work in interval notation so in interval notation you are going to say c complement is equal to block bracket 6 comma 10 was 10 in the universal set was it part of the answer yes it was as a result this is our answer all right ladies and gentlemen i hope you are following please subscribe to our youtube channel and also make sure that you contact us for any questions please contact us for any questions the next one we have been given is the last one which is to find a union C complement. So A union C complement. The first thing we are going to look for is we are going to find A union C. So let's look for A union C. So this is our number line once again. And in this number line, we are going to demarcate the positives and the negative with a zero. Then we are going to indicate set A. So set A is starting from negative 2 to what? To 8. And then we are going to look for the, the representation. So you find that set A is equal to 
open negative 2 comma 8. So since it is open there, we are going to use the unshaded circle. Since it is also open there, we are also going to use the unshaded circle. So from there, we are going to join these two lines to make ZA. After doing that, we use this same number line to show set C. Set C is open negative 7, 6. Open. So we are starting from negative 7, negative 7, which is part of the universal set, to 6. So this means that we are starting from there, which is open, going this side. So if you look at the union between these two sets, so the union is just means combining the two sets. So this is set C and that is set A. So the union is just a combination of this set and that set. So if you look at this set, you find that the union for these two sets, it is just starting from 8 up to negative 7. Therefore, we are going to have A union C is simply equal to um, block bracket negative 7 comma 8 open bracket. So after doing that, what next are we going to do? So with that being done, what we are going to do is we are going to sketch this and compare it uh, with the universal set so that we can now look for A union C complement. So we are going to draw the same thing on a number line. So we are going to draw like that. This is our number line. We draw like that. As usual, we put 0 as our demarcation. So we have negative 7 from the universal set. We also have 10 from the universal set. So we now get A union C. So when we get A union C, A union C is starting from 8. And 8 is not part of the answer. So because it's going toward the universal set, so we just say like that. Since the demarcation is one and the same. So this is A union C. Now, what, which part are we looking for as our complement? So the complement said is starting from 8 and going this side. So that means that our complement set of A union C is just shaded because 8 is not in A union C and it's going up to what? Up to 10. So our final answer for that question was simply equal to uh, which is a union c complement was just simply equal to block brackets 8 comma block brackets 10. so this was our final answer in that question I hope you guys have learned something from our class and I do believe you guys will be able to do our examples. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, I encourage you to solve the second question and please make sure that you submit the solution. However, answers for the same questions, it will be posted in my next tutorial video so please make sure that you subscribe to our channel and make sure that you register with excel academy you can contact us on positive 26 0965 this line is on whatsapp and you can also contact us directly or you can go to facebook page and just search excel academy so when you just said like that you are going to find our page and please like and follow our page thank you very much this was dr possibility from excel academy have a blessed day